Listo, buenas tardes, buenas tardes a todos, ¿cómo están? Qué bueno, mi nombre es Raúl Hinojosa, vengo de México, de la empresa World Express Cargo de México, WEC, y es un placer para mí estar acá, fue un largo viaje, gracias a Dios llegamos bien, y bueno, quiero, quiero comenzar esta charla agradeciendo a, a varias figuras, Alfa Soluciones, es nuestro socio estratégico de negocios allá en México. Agradezco sus facilidades por permitirnos llegar hasta acá. También agradezco a Genexus y Genexus México la oportunidad y el haberse fijado en el caso de éxito de WEC. Este, en la mañana vieron un video por ahí, este, lo hicimos con mucho corazón, con mucho entusiasmo para ustedes. Y finalmente quiero agradecer también a a dos personas importantes para mí, dos líderes allá que, que están en WEC, la licenciada Montserrat García, el licenciado Julio Smithers, que también han facilitado el estar acá y también han sido referentes en, en mi vida profesional. Bueno, pues vamos a comenzar, vamos a comenzar esto, como pudieron ver en la mañana el, el video, tenemos un caso, un caso de éxito muy, muy, muy interesante, muy motivador. Eh, Realmente es algo que me gusta mucho compartir, me entusiasma compartir porque no solamente es un caso de éxito que, que sirvió para un éxito empresarial, es un caso de éxito que transformó un equipo de, de trabajo, de personas y tocó, tocó las vidas de, 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 de los integrantes de este equipo de, de trabajo. I'm going to start my presentation saying who is WEC, what's WEC, what we do. WEC is a fiscalized facility in the customs of uh, Mexico City. But what, what does it mean, a fiscalized or supervised facility? Well, it's a storeroom. It's a storeroom uh, looking where, where, where you store and, and uh, uh, products, merchandises, until uh, the customs duties are complied with. It's a storeroom uh, storing import or export products during the time you make the proceedings for customs duties. In this occurs in the customs of the International Airport of Mexico City. There are many, many obligations. Uh, we are being supervised. We are being, we, we, we have to pay because um, we are considered uh, receiving a concession or something like that. And uh, things at customs occur very quickly. And we are part of the supply chain. The supply chain never stops. So everything that happens, happens very fast. The services that we are providing are precisely those. Management, um, um, we, we manage products. Um, we have a CCTV that is very large, and the customers can look when their products get to the storeroom until they come out. We've got other services like um, guidelines and uh, we can tell them when the product is coming in, when it's going out and so on. As regards infrastructure, well, it's an important operating infrastructure. We have over 2,000 uh, previous recognition area. Uh, you know, when you go, uh, when, when you revise uh, the products to, to, you know, the merchandise to see its nature and and uh, to see the tariffs, we have um, um, jacks, we have uh, weighing machines. Early this morning, we saw that infrastructure is becoming something very important. 
and with a tool like Genexus, it's worth investing in infrastructure. Everything is virtual. Um, everything is up in the cloud. We have an important red, an important Wi-Fi covering the entire storeroom. We also have duplicity, double internet, and so on. Everything is double. We have a biometric control. The infrastructure is important. But again, I insist, sometimes we think about having everything distributed. Sometimes we talk about having everything centralized. And a tool like Genexus allows you to decide how you want to manage your systems. With this kind of tool, to have this kind of platform is really meaningful. Then we have security. Uh, what we sell is security. We are um, ISO 9001 certified. Um, those who want to uh, be certified in 1701, um, Genexus can uh, really help you for exchange control, documentation, and so on. So if you are planning to be certified in ISO 27001, Genexus is recommendable. And then human capital, which is something very important to us. We are constantly being trained in customs law, in uh, management of hazardous merchandise. And let's see why we are here. This morning, uh, you've seen uh, uh, some uh, advanced uh, information about WEC, but let me tell you what the case of WEC is and why it's worth coming all this way down here and explain to you what it is. Well, this story starts with a working team. It's an ideal working team. I call it the ideal working team because but perhaps uh, we didn't understand it then, but it was a working team that was full of enthusiasm. Well, it is an enthusiastic working team. It's engaged. It's responsible. It, uh, it, we want to eat up the world. Perhaps at the starting point, we didn't understand it as such, but then we were taught that one of the characteristics that make a team an ideal team is its diversity. Suppose that you have the chance to choose your ideal working team and they give you enough freedom to choose who you want to work with. And then suddenly we think or believe that if we had a machine that could clone us and could have 10 or 20 like me, that would be the ideal working team. However, that isn't the case. I feel that sometimes, uh, well, there are many people who uh, manage uh, motivation and uh, coaching and so on, and I know that they know that what I'm saying is true. One of the characteristics of an ideal team is its diversity. Thus, uh, a working team becomes a stronger. It can take the next step forward. When we have the capacity to accept the person standing next to us as such, to respect and to uh, be in his or her shoes, then we start achieving something. This means that my deficiencies are supplemented by the other person's virtues. Most certainly, if all the team was homogeneous, homogeneous, perhaps you didn't realize certain things. You know, this question of the uh, uh, workshop blind and so on. So that was a very important point. That uh, enthusiastic uh, working team that wanted to um, obtain or achieve something important um, accepted itself, uh, took up its diversities, and turned them into strengths. Now, how did we start operating? We started as a, when once we had this authorization to be a supervised storeroom, and we had to do it um, um, renting out uh, the facilities because since everything works out very fast, 
uh, we had to rent it to our big brother. At customs, there are 18 uh, authorized storerooms. We were, their, we were their little brother. We were just started, starting, so we rented a system. And very quickly, we understood that that system was not, uh, it wasn't possible to change it, modify it, make interface. Now, the system was for the operating part and another one for the administrative part. Now, what's happened is that as it happens with most companies, uh, you know, you buy uh, ready-made software and uh, very soon afterwards, they understand that that's not useful. So the following step is to develop your own system. And that's what we did at WEC. We developed our own system. What platform did we use? .NET, with a normal development cycle. It analyzes, it programs, it tests, and uh, executes it. My profile is a programmer. When we feel that we don't know up to the very last line of our code, we feel that we've lost control. New generations, the millennium generations, uh, have that characteristic. They, they trust in what's already been developed, in what's already been done. And that's how we started. We started operations, somebody came in and offered a .NET, and then we had a version, we started. And what's happened the first day was what happens with every system that starts, something, we missed something, there was an external circumstance that made matters complicated. And so when that happened, we had to go back to the previous system. We had to say, uh, well, I can't stop operations. Well, you, you can't stop operations at customs. And so we went back to the previous system. In the evening when we met, uh, we, we said, well, we know what the problem is. We explain it. You know, it takes something like five hours to repair it. Programmers repaired it. In the meantime, we were keying in all the operations manually. And we said, all right. Tomorrow, we're going to start with a new system. And the following day, the same thing happened. There was another situation, another detail. And so perhaps it's, it's funny, but uh, when this is repeated once and again, you, come, uh, you become tired, you're frustrated, and you even despair. Everyone is looking at you, and you know, customs is like a big stage where everyone is turning around to see you. You know, we said, we, we are the little brother, we want to start walking, we want to start walking on our own, and, but everybody was looking at us. And then suddenly the, the company we were renting the system out didn't even believe in us, and uh, we said, all right, next next week I'm not, no longer going to use your system, and so on. And said, oh, yeah, well, one day. Now, fortunately, we had the opportunity of knowing Genexus too. A collaborator from the group of companies said, look here, there is a tool that does this or that, and said, all right. I was quite skeptical of code generators because I'm, I'm the usual programmer and developer, and I recall that session that in four or six hours we, we explained what uh, the, the system we wanted, and these two developers said, well, in a month, I'll, I'll get a full system for you to operate your storeroom. I didn't believe it. Um, I was a skeptical, but um, there was not much to lose, and so we said, all right, go ahead. After a month, they came back. They said, this is the system, let's start operations, and exactly the same thing happened, exactly the same thing. After a couple of hours, the first failure occurred, something that we hadn't included, that we hadn't understood well, that we hadn't thought out well. But the big difference, as we saw in the video this morning, is that in a very short while, practically, um, 
unseen for users. They could develop the correction and we could carry on. That was the uh, uh, break point for WEC. That was the break point for this story. That's where we started WEC's success story. It's like uh, before Christ and after Christ. All right, this is the same thing. Before Genexus and after Genexus. At that time, we realized that we could uh, have an operation, and it didn't matter whether the small brother was going to fall down and bump into, but what was important is how quickly it could get up back again. And we did, even for things that we hadn't foreseen, that we hadn't thought about. The Nexus allowed us to improve them, to repair them, and so everyone uh, turned around to look at WEC what's happening there. The company that uh, we were renting out the system for, you know, said, uh, we can't believe it, you, you are now operating. And from then onwards, we started a very important story. And uh, I'd like to show you, that's why my talk is called Growing Among Giants. This was our position. I don't know how many of you know the story of David and Goliath. Goliath is this giant. He's a, a well-known warrior. He's well-prepared and trained. And David is that enthusiastic guy who has a big heart and wants to uh, vanquish it. But look, it's impossible to have that opportunity. What Genexus gave us was the capacity of making quick connections to make interfaces. And uh, customers would say, can, can, can you do this? Can you do that? And we said, yes, we can. I recall that m once my boss said, we have to um, improve the way bill. Uh, and, uh, and we had a customer uh, whose products did not come with a way bill. And the only way was to um, cut out the way bill from the box. And we would put a number for reference. We would copy that way bill. It was a whole process. And we said, we can make that process more efficient. We can improve it. We can make it electronic. And no one believed it. And said, no, 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 don't, don't do it, because you don't know what will happen. Even so, we did it, and uh, we haven't quantified what's uh, been done, uh, all the savings we'd made and, uh, on paper, but we were walking more firmly, and we realized that Genexus was going to allow us to do things that we hadn't done before. And, and, and we said, why are we doing things in this way and we don't do it better? There is, a, so, there is something in Genexus tool that makes us uh, that make you not concerned about how to do things, but what you're going to do faster and more efficient, what you're going to automate. And that's what uh, Genexus allows us to do. That's the break point of this success story. From then onwards, we started growing the system to become stronger, to put in more modules. And we uh, obtained a robust and efficient system. that allowed us to have a competitive advantage. The work system has the capacity to control the inventory online, advise customers when a product comes in, when the merchandise comes in, the goods come in or go out. And there is a capacity that we developed two years ago. It was a mobile app. It was said, they told us, why, why don't we get an app? Why don't we make an, an app so that customers can know where their goods are? So customers can use an app and see what happens with their goods and uh, calculate how much it's going to pay. Uh, it can download an invoice. It can uh, make an invoice, and so on. That has allowed us to become the leading uh, supervised storeroom. Our competitors recognize that they are years, that they are light years from us. And here we are. The new 
Genexus version has allowed us to develop responsive apps. This means that the new version of our app will make the portal and the app be something identical. The same thing that you see here, you will see it there. And it's incredible, and this is important, how these very small technological changes make you change things the, the way you do things. We're going to do something that we call um, previous appointments. You know, I'm going to test these goods and they wait for 10 or 15 or 30 minutes to check their goods. Now, we are going to change this with Genexus and they will, uh, and the app will tell the customer what is the best time to be served more quickly. For instance, um, how long it would take for the goods to be available. Uh, that means that customers will come in with a certain code and uh, their goods will be there because the app will warn the um, team that uh, uh, it has to program all these goods for a certain time. This will change the way agents operate in customs. What else have we got? We are developing an app with push notifications where people or customers will be advised about what happens with their goods, whether there is any damage, whether there is any problem. Customers will be advised in real time about all this. And the last thing is uh, something that I wanted to share with you. This is WEC team. I would like to tell you that if you have an ideal team and you haven't got the tools, it's going to be very difficult to take off. The ideal team has the ideal tools. And this is our success story. Genexus is the ideal tool for the ideal team. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'm available. My pleasure. Thank you.